I want to talk about what triple inequalities really mean. I've written here two absolute value inequalities, and you can see that the only difference between the two is the direction of the sign. Your textbook will tell you that for greater than or equal to or greater than type inequalities, what you're supposed to do is write two different inequalities without the bars, and then write the word or in between. But on the other hand, for less than or less than or equal to, you get to write a triple inequality. Why do they look so different? We need to talk about what that word or means in order to understand this. We're saying that x is a number, right? Variables represent numbers. x can satisfy either one of these conditions. x minus 3 can be higher than 4 or lower than negative 4. It doesn't have to be both. In fact, it can't be both. It can be either condition. But on the right, what we're saying is that x needs to satisfy both of these conditions. This is really just a shortcut. What I'm really saying is that x minus 3 has to be less than or equal to 4 and x minus 3 has to be greater than or equal to negative 4 at the same time. Both conditions need to be satisfied. When I write it out this way, you can see greater similarity between the two styles. On the left, you see the inequality just like the original problem in both cases, but with the bars removed. And on the right, you can see that in both cases, I've written negative 4 instead of 4, and I've switched the direction of the sign. So these look a lot more close now. I want to say that the triple inequality and the AND statement are logically perfectly equivalent and both very, very correct. You get to write either one, and I'll understand what you mean. The problem is, I see this a lot for greater than or equal type inequalities. I see a triple inequality, but this doesn't make sense to me. Reason being, I don't want x minus 3 to satisfy both conditions. Now what I've done here is add 3 to all three sides of this inequality, and you can see that I get negative 1, greater than or equal to x, greater than or equal to 7, and what we're saying here is that x is a number that has to be greater than or equal to 7 and less than or equal to negative 1 at the same time. Higher than 7 and lower than negative 1 at the same time. That's not going to happen. So the triple inequality always means and. There is no shortcut for an or statement, so we just have to write the word or. No big deal.